In this video, I'll be testing a strategy with an 86% win rate created by Trade Prime. I'll be testing it 100 times using Ethereum on the 15 minute time frame to see if we can actually make money with it in 2023. But before we start, welcome to Tradefluence. My name's Gazala Branco. I'm a 23 year old Forex trader who's been trading for the last five years now and even have my own channel sharing my live trades with proof back in 2021. So, first, head on over to TradingView. And for this strategy, we're going to need two indicators. So, head on over to the indicator. Tab. And for our first indicator, we need the half trend. Okay, so once loaded, we need to make some adjustments in the settings. So double click. And in the inputs, we're going to change the amplitude to four. And we're going to uncheck the show channels. Now, in this strategy, we're going to use the half trend to identify the trend direction. So when it's blue, we're going to be looking for longs. And when it's red, we're going to be looking for shorts. Now, for the second indicator, we're going to need the RSI. So the relative strength index. And once loaded, yours is not going to look like mine, so we need to make some adjustments in the settings. So head on over to Style, and we're going to go to the RSI upper band and make sure this is checked on. And the RSI lower band is also checked on. And we're going to change the color of the lines to white and make them thicker. Okay, so we're also going to change the numbers. We're going to change the 70 to 90. And we're going to change the RSI lower bands from 30 to 20. So then make sure the rest of the settings are the same as mine. Now go to inputs. And we're going to change the RSI length from 14 to 2. Perfect. Now the RSI is used to find overbought and oversold conditions. So essentially when it goes into the overbought condition, we're going to be looking to sell. And when it comes into the oversold condition, we're going to be looking to buy. And in this strategy, this is going to be our entry signal. So let's go over the entry criteria. Okay, so this is your entry criteria when looking for a long. First, you need the half trend to be colored blue, signifying that we're in a long structural market. Secondly, we're going to need price to dip below the 20 level, indicating that we're oversold. As you can see here, the RSI is just dip below the 20 level so now we're going to look to take the first breaker structure on the current candle so if this is our current candle we're going to look for a breaker structure here and we're going to enter with a stop loss below okay so let's carry on playing okay so now we're going to enter on this current candle and if price keeps printing new candles you're going to keep moving your entry point to the top of the current candle okay in this scenario because we're looking for longs so now we've got the breaker structure you're going to be entering with a buy stop just above the current candle with the stop loss below the swing low i'm going to be targeting a 1.5 r as you can see in this scenario the momentum completely rocketed up now we're going to break down the setup criteria okay so this is your entry criteria when looking for a short first you need the half trend to be colored red signifying that we're in a sell structural market secondly we need price to be overbought and this is signified by the rsi being above the 90 level so now we need to wait for the first breaker structure on the current candle so in this scenario this is our current candle that's in the rsi overbought area so we're going to take a sell stop as soon as that occurs so now we'll be in the trade since the breaker structure has occurred to the downside and we're going to take the stop loss just above the swing high. I'm going to be targeting a 1.5 R. Okay, so as you can see, it's definitely easily getting hit. Now I'm going to go back test this 100 times and come back to you with the result. Okay, so in nine weeks, we took 100 trades, 39 lost and 61 won, which means we had a final net profit of 52.5%. So considering the time frame, making that return is extremely good. And I do recommend you guys to go and back test this. But do know this was 24 hours worth of trading. I do say that all the time because it's not realistic, okay? Go and trade that in your own session and go and back test it between New York or London or Asian. Whatever session you trade, go and back test it 100 times and play around with the return maybe try and return a free r instead of 1.5 but this system's good we did have that final win rate of 61 percent but like always this strategy is working so thank you for watching